Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming videos. So in this video we're going to be learning how to create a button dynamically. So before we start, um, I, have, I have some cool links in the description. For instance, a link to my blog, a link to our WhatsApp group, a link to my app and plenty of other links. So go and check that out. Also Delphi 10.1 Berlin is still currently free. So go and get that definitely. Um, let's start. When you create a button in design time, it's like this, like this button is currently created in design time. So you can change all the properties here and when you come, you can see the button in design time. And when you compile, you also see it here. But when you create a button dynamically, you're basically creating it with code and it only shows up in, in runtime. Let's do that um, via this create new button. Um, like in design time, and you add the properties here, but in runtime when you create a button then dynamically edit the properties via code. Let's do that. Let's start adding a variable. I call the variable then button. Then stands for the dynamic. And they should be of type T button. And let's actually create a button. Then button colon equals assignment operator. T button dot and in the parenthesis, parenthesis however you say it, you add self. This basically means that it is an owner of itself. And then we say then button dot parent. We say the parent equals to the FOM home, which is um, this form. So basically, we like currently this button one is a child of the form and the form is the owner of the button because the button is on the form so here we basically tell it that the button should be on the form okay then we, set, then we just set basically all the other stuff into normal stuff such as a caption so this is a dynamic button I can add it a left property. For instance, let's make left property. Uh, how much? Okay, let's make left property 100. Dot. Top will make it 300. We'll make the width of the button, let's say 500. And we'll make the height to um, 70 and then this will actually now get, create us a button that's our, our button now sorry but now it doesn't do anything yet in the button it actually creates better buttons above this one so let's now go and declare something else. Wait, okay, let's first assign a um like you need to the button but you will see it has different events. Like on click events. Let's create an on click event and assign an on click event to it. Okay, so let's go and create an on click event for it. We can do that in the private in the private field. So we'll say procedure. Let's call it um then button tick sender the op oops object so this is a basic procedure that will allow us for the button um, to send something to this procedure and then it will run it so let's add this procedure uh, tfim home dot then button click here it is it is to basic show message show message and then we show the mess the button's caption. So we say sender as the button dot caption. So we just show message the um, button that is currently clicked on this caption. Okay. To sign that we say button dot on click and here we assign the on click event to the 
button button click procedure let's compile and create a new button and click it and here you see it is it shows the message so that's how that works now um, let's just show you something else which is pretty cool so let's create um, a variable here we'll just let's do a different, different way add a map unit here add x and y of type integer and then here in the forms um, on create event we'll just assign a random x and y coordinates and then assign this to the left and two properties of the button we create so we say x color equals math dot random range from zero until form a final home dot client width the random range works it goes from it takes a random value from zero to the forms client width property it just set random randomize randomize procedure basically just um, um puts a random seed into the randomness for the random functions y will work the same map dot random range from zero until a prime home dot client width and then we set the left to x and the top to y so now you will see the buttons getting uh, wait a minute Oops, yeah. This should this should not be from grade. So this should be here before where the button is actually created. Don't know why I put it in grade. It's because it's like one AM in one AM in the morning. Almost two AM no not almost yeah. anyway. I'm making videos. I should be awake almost again. Even now you can see different buttons being created at different um random x and y coordinates on the f on the form and we click on any one of them it will show message as you can see so that also works and let's also try to do some other stuff such as then button dot font dot size let's change the font size we just make the font size to 30 okay so now you can see the difference the, um what stands on the button a bit better as you can see here so you can change any any property here of the button and also assign any events to it that's basically it for this video guys um i'll also show videos of how to do different components not just button so also show some other other, button, uh, other components anyway if this video helped you in any way then please make sure to leave a like and share this video if you got with your friends or anyone you think will also find this useful and uh, subscribe for more videos i'll see you in the next video bye